uh, new energy business is absolutely critical for Petrofac. If you look at what we do as a company, we engineer, we build, we operate, we decommission structures and facilities. So for us, a move from traditional oil and gas into new energies is very natural. It's the same skills and it is absolutely central to our strategy going forward. So the, the Tenet project, HKZ, is a fantastic example of what we do in one of our new energy strategies, offshore wind. So on this project, we did the engineering, procurement, construction and installation of two offshore substation platforms that were part of the overall wind farm. The project is really cool and quite unusual. It's the first subsidy free offshore wind farm in Europe and it's part of Tenet's drive, massive drive, to build up the offshore wind capacity for Holland and for Germany. And it, you know, wind is such a big part of the new energy mix go forward that it's really important for companies like Petrofac that we're at the forefront of these kinds of developments. So on HKZ for Tenet, Petrofac engineered and built the two offshore substation platforms, about 4,000 tonnes each. So the top sides and the jacket, the bit that goes in the water. Uh, and we're also involved in the overall project management and helping to commission these platforms. So nothing drives your business forward better than successful projects. And to do a project all the way through COVID is incredibly difficult and to have it really safe and to be completed on time and to have your customer here at nearly the end of our part and be very happy with what we've delivered is huge for us. It's like a calling card to drive our business forward. And if you look at the amount of offshore gigawatts that even Europe needs to install over the next 10 years to have really strong track record from projects that are well completed, safely completed and on time is just hugely important to us. In terms of the uniqueness of the project, I think the thing that stands out for me is the way that we, as a collective team with DDW, Tenet and Petrofac and other subcontractors, have managed to keep it on track during COVID. I mean, there are technical specialities and there would be others better placed than me to chat about that, but to, to execute this project through lockdowns, with all the difficulties of moving equipment and people around the world, it's just incredible. And then to install safely we've we've got both jackets in one top sides in and the other is in the mediterranean right now to install those in difficult times of the year completely safely is, is a fantastic achievement let's go back one step so what is new energies for petrofac um, there are so many things you could focus on but you know, by the definition focus, you have to pick some things and put all your efforts into being really good in those areas. So for us, there are four areas. There's offshore wind, uh, as we're here today with Tenet. Carbon capture and storage is number two. Waste to value three. And hydrogen in any color uh, is number four. So what we're learning is that the world and therefore Petrofac, we need to focus on an energy transition. As certain things decline, certain other things build up. And it's impossible uh, for any country or company to focus on one thing and say, right, I'm going to do solar only or wind only or maybe gas only. So go back to one of the first questions you asked, what do Petrofac do? We engineer, procure, we build, we install for our customers, we'll operate for them as well if they want. So in that sphere, coming to hydrogen, um, we're engaged mostly in blue and green at the moment. What we're seeing in the market is that green, which I think some people thought was far away and perhaps hard to make economic, is accelerating incredibly quickly. There are blue hydrogen projects and if you find yourself in a place that has lots of gas and lots of industrial demand in that area and you can achieve um, what you need for carbon capture, then for sure there's definitely a place for blue hydrogen. But I think we've been very positively surprised by the uptake of green hydrogen and we're watching it accelerate in the projects that we're involved with both in the UK and we've got a very large project in Australia, um, the Aerosmith project with Infinite Blue Energy where we're seeing lots and lots of uptake as um, people come to terms with the economics of green hydrogen.
when you look at the world, you've got to like the fundamentals of the UAE for hydrogen. You know, there's there's gas for blue, there's lots of solar, there's lots of wind, so you have affordable power to drive green. You have a fantastic uh, energy supply chain and ecosystem. You've got good logistical connections. So, you, you know, the UAE has a terrific potential in hydrogen, whether you know, in just blue and green, but also in hydrogen related projects such as ammonia.